In our Bios of Best series, here are the top 10 lessons from Gene Roddenberry's life. He was an American television screenwriter and producer best remembered for creating the original Star Trek TV series. He had a pretty unusual curriculum. Here are the top 10 lessons to be drawn from his life. Number one, you can study for one thing and end up doing another. No big deal. You can launch a career while having another job. Be flexible. Roddenberry major in police science and joined the Los Angeles Police Department, but soon began to write scripts for television. Uh, only when he felt he had gained enough traction with his writing did he decide to resign from the force and concentrate on his craft. Number two, openness, fairness, social justice. Roddenberry was asked to write a series called Riverboat, set in Mississippi. When he discovered that the producers wanted no African American on the show, he argued so much with them that he lost his job. Racism not welcome. Have you ever noticed, by the way, that Star Trek is a tiny, just a tiny bit multi-ethnic? The guy hated racial divides. Good for him. Number three, stand your ground. Roddenberry created The Lieutenant, which was produced with the cooperation of the Pentagon. During the production, Roddenberry clashed with the Department of Defense over potential plots, mostly. Roddenberry often pressed ahead. And the department withdrew its support, uh, but Roddenberry never yielded ground. Number four, work a lot, produce a lot, fail a lot, win a few, transcend one. Adam Grant, in Originals, the book, writes, and I'm quoting, the most prolific people not only have the highest originality, they also generate their most original output during the periods in which they produce the largest volume. To generate a handful of masterworks, Mozart, Beethoven composed more than 600 pieces. The more pieces a composer produces in a given five-year window, the greater the spike in the odds of a hit. Roddenberry never ever stopped writing, producing, submitting rewrites even for Star Trek. Want to be published? Keep writing every day, for example. Number five, take care of your fans. Roddenberry encouraged the student-led protest march and communicated with Star Trek fan Bayou Trimble, who led a fan writing campaign to save the series and helped create an organized Star Trek fandom. NBC received around 6,000 letters a week from fans petitioning it to renew the show, which it did. Number six, take no victory for granted. There will be ups and downs even after major wins. Following the cancellation of Star Trek, Roddenberry felt typecast as a producer of science fiction, despite his background in westerns and police stories. He could not get any work, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. He was perceived as a guy who made an expensive flop. Nobody, that's the, the, the lesson here, nobody remembers the struggles, but even superstars have to hit lows before they can make a comeback. Number seven, if you ever, ent let's be a little coquin, as we say in French, if you ever entertain thoughts of polygamy, well, you're not the only one. Roddenberry married Eileen Adita Rexroth in June 42. They had two children, but later in life, he began relationships with two actresses simultaneously. At a time, Roddenberry wanted to remain in an open relationship with both of them, uh, but one of them recognizes the other's devotion to Roddenberry and the affair. Number eight, don't do drugs. Come on, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. 
In the late 1980s, Roddenberry was afflicted by the first manifestations of cerebral vascular disease and encephalopathy as a result of his use of drugs, including cocaine. He used amphetamines um, to work on scripts through long nights. The effects of these substances were compounded by the deleterious interactions with diabetes and high blood pressure in particular. Number nine, the sky is the limit. It's all worth the pain. In 1985, Gene Roddenberry was the first television writer to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Roddenberry crater is named after him on Mars, as is an asteroid. George Lucas credited Star Trek for enabling Star Wars to be produced. Think about that. Work hard, be passionate, and you just never know how far and how high you may go. Number 10, that's our final one. You can survive a plane crash. It's amazing. He survived three plane crashes. During the Second World War, an Army Air Force's plane Roddenberry was piloting overshot the Ren Ray, killing two. Roddenberry survived. The official report, by the way, absolved him of any responsibility. Roddenberry was later involved in a further plane crash, this time as a passenger. He experienced his third crash in 1947 while flying for Pan American. Roddenberry dragged injured passengers out of the burning jet. 14 died. If he survived three, you can survive one. Good luck! 